Hi, my name's Danielle. Welcome to Creator Answers. In this show, I'm going to be showing you how to use the new dashboard to add an end screen. I've seen this question come up over and over in various feeds, in people's comments and questions, and I understand why, because there's been quite a shift in the new dashboard for 2019. And here's the thing. It's because they've split the dashboard into two types of functions, and that's confusing people. So let's just jump in and I shall explain what's going on. So first of all, we head into the new YouTube studio, Beta. A lot of people are getting the live this will be your default dashboard message popping up. This is happening for a lot of people. So this is my personal channel. Now, if we click on videos here, normally in the past, when we'd edit a video, we would have a little tag at the top to add the end slate. And this is the little thing that shows up where you subscribe and the next videos that you should watch. And it used to be right here in the video manager when you clicked on edit. But that's now changed. A lot of people are getting really, really upset as to how everything seems to be so different now. This, this next tip alone will help all this become much clearer to you. First thing, you'd think this would open the video in YouTube. It doesn't. To open the video on YouTube, you have to click on the little play button there. But you click here to edit. Don't think of this as edit. This is now making changes. We have the details page here, and this is where we change the title and the metadata and the description. And in here, we have some advanced section where we can pick the license. But now think about this as metadata. This section here under details is information about the video. It's not the actual video. It's information about the video. Now, the end slate is part of the video. It's part of the viewing experience experience. So now all of those changes are down here in the editor. This row here is your end slate and clicking this will allow you to edit the end slate that's there right now. And you can see this will appear right at the end of the video. It's in the last 15 seconds for me. Some people don't even have an end slate. Most viewers don't get to the end slate unless you've got an incredibly high retention. You're not going to get to it anyway. But this is the big change. The end slate is now part of the video editor because it's part of the video timeline. And all of these things, effects, cards, because they're part of the video experience, this is where they show up. Now, if you don't have an end slate, a different option will appear. So if I go back to my videos here and I edit this one, this is a video I haven't put out yet. I now click on the editor here. Here we can see this video hasn't been prepared for release yet and it doesn't have an end screen. So to add an end screen, and I'm going to make one from scratch here, I would normally import my previous one. I'm going to add my two videos or playlist and one subscribe because that's how my end slate graphic is laid out. I'm going to add this right here and I'm going to scrub forward to where the start of my end slate comes in, which is right there. Then I'm going to move those into the positions that I normally have them in. And I'm going to drag that over so that it starts at exactly the right point. And now I can save this and I can preview this right here. Give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Popping up over there is the last video I put out and below that is the one YouTube thinks you should watch next. Please subscribe, please share, do all the good stuff and I shall see you in the very next show. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. And that's it. And boom, you're done. So that is how you add an end screen using the new 2019 dashboard. It's a little bit buggy at the moment. It doesn't seem to work perfectly, but it's almost there. Uh, so it is work in progress, but this is where it's going to stay. And don't forget that new layout. Let's go back into the page here. The details is about the video. The editor is how to change the video. So anything which is in stream, sound, things like the end screen elements, cards, even some effects you can add here are now in the editor. And just think about it where, if you think about what the editor would be for, you'll find that all of this new dashboard makes a lot more sense. That is it for this one. I hope you found this video useful as always if you liked the video give me a thumbs up if you didn't like it give me a thumbs down <laughs> and now it's time for my end slate popping up over there is the last video i put out and below that is the one youtube thinks you should watch next thank you so much for watching i shall see you in the very next show bye